Welcome back. We begin our special in memory of the late John Holt with a look at his amazing journey in reggae. The year was 1966 and in Jamaica, Rocksteady ruled as Kia, the island's first pop genre. Faded like time on New Year's Eve. Between 66 and 68, Rocksteady was the most popular music genre in Jamaica. Listen to me, Miss Whiny. It was during this period that the inimitable voice of a young singer named John Holt earned a place in Jamaica's music and would remain in its mainstream for almost five decades. John Holt is a personal friend. We go back from little boy days in Maxwell Park. Born in Kingston in 1945, Holt's desire to sing was awakened while a student at Calabar High School. We all were around one piano underneath a little shed. Somebody left a piano there and there you had Keith Anderson who was across from Maxwell Park Children's Home, John Holt, Wilfred Jackie Edwards, Owen Gray and all the guys would come by and just Play on the piano, pam pa 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 pam pa. At age 16, after being pelted with orange peels and banana skins, John finally won the then popular Vir John Talent contest. And the next morning, everybody was like, "Oh, did you hear what happened with John? He sang. Sometimes I cry when I'm lonely. Sometimes I cry when I'm lonely." And it just tore up the entire place and he had that entire place in tears. This opened a number of doors for the singer, including a live radio performance and a chance to do his first single, entitled Forever I Will Stay. My little darling, why did you leave? But it wasn't until John took over as lead for a group called The Paragons that he became a household name. There's a man that lives next door in my neighborhood. Initially, the Paragons recorded mostly R&B covers for Studio One. But after lead singer Bob Andy left the group to pursue a solo career, the Paragons, now a trio, exploded with John Holt on lead vocals over the new Rocksteady beat. And, you know, when John became a part of the Paragons and um, my group, the Jamaicans, a lot of times we would sing a song and people would say, wow, that's the Paragons. And people would have bets about the Paragons, especially with the songs, the song, Things You Say You Love, You're Gonna Lose. A lot of people thought it was John with the Paragons who did that song. It was a fresh sound which produced a more focused blend of voice and energy. You were seen. Rounding round with him again. Oh, yeah. Between 1965 and 1970, the Paragons released 16 singles, most of which reached number one on the charts. Among them, On the Beach and Where You to the Ball. Yet, like so many of their peers at the time, lack of financial reward led to disbanding, leaving John on his own. But Holt did not give up. In no time, the man with the golden voice was back in the studio as a solo performer and soon dropped chart toppers like Tonight and Stick By Me. Stick by me, I'll stick by me. And then came classics like Left with a Broken Heart and Love I Can Feel. Don't you know I wanna love? In 1970, John signed a deal with British based Trojan Records, for which he recorded his first album entitled 1000 Volts of Hope. I'd like to run away from you 
But if you never found me, I would cry. So I took John up to England and um, we wanted him to stay in England. Um, Cox and myself, because we wanted to, to work on him um, in the right way, in the way that an artist should be worked on over a period of time. The album went to number five on the British national charts and with a tour of Europe, the name John Holt became a household one all over the continent. an album called Love I Can Feel that was released in Jamaica. I took four of those songs when Coxon sent over that album to me. I heard four of those songs that could lend itself to, to orchestration. So what I did was to go in the studio with those songs, four of them, from that album and put strings on it. And um, so a thousand volts of all came out of that. Just for in 1975, Cho John went bankrupt, sending John's career into a financial tailspin. His uncollected royalties were tied up in litigation. And it wasn't until Saga Records bought the Trojan catalog towards the end of 1976 that John was able to press and release new products. Strange things happen on a Friday night. In 1981, the American rock and roll singer Blondie topped charts around the world with The Tide Is High. A song written by John and made popular during his days with the Paragons. During the 1980s, working with producer John Delors, John sustained relevance with hits like Police in Helicopter and Carpenter. Police in Helicopter, I search for marijuana. In 2012, John Holt was one of several living icons of reggae, AEG presented at the O2 Arena in London in celebration of Jamaica's 50th anniversary of independence. together with me and I was all together with them and it was a musical vibes and I felt very good about doing what I did for them because it was just all for them really because that's what I came for. Yeah. Love you, Love you. Love you. I'd love to go to Jamaica, see him. Stick by me, I will stick by you. Stick by me, I will stick by you. Three in the meadow. He's got singing. Three in the meadow. Come here, come here, represent. Come here, come to the world. This is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The whole setup and the whole night. It's just, oh. It's a really, it's a lovely, it was a lovely show. Um, I, I felt really good to be a part of it and to celebrate Jamaica's 50th anniversary. It was very good. All right, Don, they were top class, pure class. John Hope, what can I say? Top man. Top man. Music to feed your soul. A few days after his performance at the O2, on stage travelled with John to Belgium for a performance at the Gale Reggae Festival. It was his first time at the festival and the only encore performance we witnessed. Thrilling moments that were to be etched in the minds of the over 70,000 in the venue for a long time. John is going to tell us how he, feel, how he feels about last night. Oh, last night was fantastic, I must need to say. 
I enjoyed it immensely. It was a glorious event. Everybody was so together. They were all having fun and this only goes to show how um, foreigners appreciate our music, reggae music, and we should learn from them. Touch me in the Still one of the most sought after in reggae. On Monday, October 20, John Holt passed away in the wee hours of the morning in a London hospital. This after a short bout with cancer. A, a, a leg well run. A life well lived. Uh, another one of us who's dedicated time, life, effort to the betterment, upliftment of Jamaican culture, the people, and Jamaica in a whole. And as we always say, I don't think we lose anyone. I say Jamaica's lost a son because we invariably get there, all of us. And um, his legacy will be highly influential. I'm saddened, but I'm heartened at the same time, simply because the contribution that he has made, it'll live on forever. That is why I like when the artists get to entertaining that they also record. So like eventualities like this, we can always have them in our keeping. And I share a very special feeling with John because he says we share the same birthday. Oh, well, that's special, <laughs> very special. So we're very delighted that I could have had the time, I've had the opportunity, the privilege to have presented him on so many occasions and it has made my entertainment life so appreciated of him and to all the many persons like myself who will miss him, will grieve and mourn in this time, he still lives on. I am really saddened by the passing of John because I was getting very close to John because he was supposed to do that New York show that Marcy and friends did that I was a part of. And we were really, really looking forward because that man had such a magic on stage. And I really was looking forward to be in the audience, to just behold him performing. But he wasn't able to make it because of his illness. And I was looking forward to another time to be in the audience and watching him perform. It wasn't possible. I'm really going to miss him. He has left an indelible mark in the music industry. And I don't have an answer to how we're going to get over this right now. Because he's been such a, a joy. He has brought so much joy to all of us through the music. And we're going to miss him. We have lost an artist who was so naturally talented. Singers like John and, and, and Dennis and those sort of singers. It's a legacy to our industry and to our business. Oh, I'd like to be one of them. us when we come back Lloyd Parks and some young friends in live tribute to the late John Holt we'll be back Tribal war. we don't want no more at all. and we're back and down to the final stretch Celebrating the life and work of the legendary John Holt. And now, a live tribute by Lloyd Fox and friends.
special tribute to the legendary John Holt. Special thanks going out to Jesse Royal, the messenger Luciano, and of course, Romain Virgo, not to mention Lloyd Vax and We The People Band. Give it up one more time. Bye, Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage and leaving you with a little more of the Lloyd Vax and We The People